the mountain bongo. Cool name, beautiful animal. Look at that. Reddish brown coat, white yellow stripes, a few black and white markings on the face and legs, slightly spiraled horns, arguably the most beautiful animal in our Kenyan ecosystem. Before we start, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let's get to 10,000 subscribers. Okay, so the mountain bongo is one of the largest forest antelopes we have in Kenya. It is also the third largest antelope in the world. Found in the highland forests of central Kenya, that is the Abadea forest and the Mount Kenya forests. The term mountain is used to distinguish the species from its cross relative, the lowland bongo, which is found in the forests of West and Central Africa. The mountain bongo is one of the most endangered antelopes in the world, with an estimated population of only about 150 individuals in Kenya, according to Kenya's Wildlife Census Report 2021, with 96 in the wild and 54 in an enclosure at Mount Kenya Wildlife Conservancy in Anyuki. Based on this data, it is correct to assume that the mountain bongo is critically endangered. The mountain bongo is a solitary, elusive, nocturnal animal and typically only comes together with others of its kind during the mating season. That's why it's very hard to spot it in the wild. I'm describing an introvert. It can be considered as an introvert's spirit animal. <laughs> Mount Kenya Wildlife Conservancy is a non-profit organization that was established in 1996 to promote the conservation and protection of wildlife and their habitats within the Mount Kenya ecosystem, including the forests. I have talked about Mount Kenya Wildlife Conservancy on my channel before in the video titled Seven Most Amazing Wildlife Places in Kenya. Mount Kenya Wildlife Conservancy is also in Anyuki and has the best view of Mount Kenya in my opinion. I took that time lapse. At it has a bit more information on what happens in Mount Kenya Wildlife Conservancy. Uh, it is one of my favorite videos that I've ever done. I love it. Uh, I will leave the link in the description box below and you can go check it out after watching this video. Male and female bongos, like many other mammal species, have several physical and behavioral differences. Male bongos are typically larger than females. They also have thicker and more curved horns, which is used to defend against predators and also defend against other male bongos by establishing dominance. Female bongos, on the other hand, are smaller in size with smaller and straighter horns. And in terms of behavior, male bongos are more territorial and aggressive than females. Female bongos, on the other hand, are typically more social and may form small groups with other females and their offspring. The opening of Mawingu Sanctuary today with the release of the first five bongos is a critical step in helping to reverse the declining of the bongos. Our aim is to re-establish a viable and sustainable population of critically endangered mountain bongo, which can only be found here in Kenya. And as we establish these bongos, our work is only one thing, is to breed them and to give them back to KWS for introduction to the other water towers. We are working with Chester Zoo, again the Aspinall Foundation and others in the United States to make sure that this breeding program and rewilding becomes a success. The efforts that they can count on government, we are here to support you and definitely we are here to make sure that conservation, being the part of the DNA of Kenya, works. Mount Kenya Wildlife Conservancy, in collaboration with Kenya Wildlife Service and the Kenya Forest Service, opened Mawingu Mountain Bongo Sanctuary, the first ever mountain bongo sanctuary in the world. The sanctuary is purely dedicated in trying to increase the numbers through breeding programs. Basically, the sanctuary provides a safe haven for the mountain bongo and the conservancy works to breed and release them back into the wild. Five mountain bongos were released from Mount Kenya Wildlife Conservancy that day into the Mawingu Mountain Bongo Sanctuary. 
This subspecies once roamed in large numbers in the Kenyan forests in the 50s, but has suffered unprecedented population decline due to poaching, life trade, predation, and disease to just about 150 of them. The success of the sanctuary is necessary for research aimed at understanding the ecological and the behavior of the mountain bongo and how that can be used to increase their numbers, like what China is doing with the pandas. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, it was a short video. Uh, I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you want to see next. Um, and yeah, bye. Take care.